quick. So today we're gonna talk about uh, samba, basic elements, body movement, weight transfer, and some of the basic figures. So it's a good way to start to learn samba or review. So we're gonna put our feet together and we are going to start with the very basic action, what is very typical for samba, which is a bounce. Okay, so we're gonna be bouncing. Now, how it looks, let's try to soften the knee, both of the knees, and then recover. Okay, so we go down and up, down and up, down and up. So we're gonna count one and two and. Okay, so we go one and two and one and two and one and two and one and two and. I'm gonna turn this way. One and two and one and two and one and two and one and two and. Okay, so I show 360. Now, uh, what we're gonna try now, that was a very fast one. We're gonna put the feet more apart, okay? So now we're gonna uh, try one more time the same thing. So we go one and two and one and two and one and two and one and two. One and two and one and two. And then we can do some waves while we're doing that. Okay, yes, exactly. I see you jamming at home right now. Okay, so now when we did a couple of waves, we're gonna shift the weight from foot to foot. Okay, so how it looks. Bring, uh, put the weight on uh, over the left foot, okay? And now we're gonna do the same thing twice on one leg. That's very important that we do it twice on one leg, okay? So it looks like this. One and two, and, and now we're gonna shift the weight to the right foot, okay? So again, we do the same thing. One and two, and, we shift the weight again to the left foot, and again. One and two and shift the weight. One and two and shift the weight, okay? Now, when we do it a little bit faster and when you can try it at, uh, with the music, the weight shifting will be a little bit faster. So it will look like this. One and two and, 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 one and two and. Now what is very important that even though you were shifting the weight from foot to foot, it's very important that we have both our knees soft, okay? So it's not just one leg, okay? But when we do the bounce, we do it both knees, okay? So we go one and two and one and two and one and two and one and two, okay? Now, just to mention a couple of uh, mistakes, what can happen? make sure that you don't want to go towards the floor okay so we don't want to sit down we don't want to do squats okay so it's not one and two and okay it's the bringing the uh, tailbone slightly forward so now what it ha what happens that our thigh and knee travels forward and our pelvis travels forward okay so we go one and two and one and two and as you can see it's going to create a little contraction here okay so now we're bouncing but we're not really doing this okay so one and two and one and two one and two and one and two one and two one and two one and two and one and two okay now let's move to another figure Okay, we're gonna go a little bit faster today, but I'll come back to the basic elements again. So now, what we do, we're gonna travel again sideways, but we're gonna move uh, from foot to foot, okay? So we go sideways, and now we're gonna collect the foot, and we shift the weight, okay? So it's gonna be step, step, and again. Side, step, step. Side, step, step. Side, step, step, okay? When we do a side step, that was the bounce. Now instead of doing one and two and, we go one and two, okay? So you see we're already using a foot placement and the weight shifting, okay? One more time, let me turn around. So we go side, replace, side, 
replace, side, replace, side, replace, side, replace, side, replace, side, replace, side, replace. All right? So as you can see, it doesn't require much space in your living room or in your house. So it's good to practice anytime and basically anywhere. Okay? Now, we travel sideways, right? We can do the same thing traveling forward. So how it would look when we travel forward, let's start with the right foot forward, okay? So we go step forward with the right foot and now we do again a weight shifting. So we go shift, shift. Now we go backwards with the left foot. We go back, shift, shift. And again, right, shift, shift. Left, shift, shift. Right, shift, shift. Left, shift, shift. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. Okay? Now, how about if you combine those two movements? So sideways, forward and backward. Okay? Good, you agree? Good. So, we're gonna go sideways. Let's start with the, my right foot. So whatever foot is that, I think it's your left foot, right? So. We go one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. Okay? Now, what we can do, we can go forward. It doesn't really matter if you go forward with the left foot or the right foot because basically we're all alternating. Okay? So now, what it means for you that probably you're gonna go forward with your left foot. So now I go backwards with my right foot. Go one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. And now we can go again sideways. So let me turn around and we go again with the left foot, sideways. And one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. And now with the left foot forward. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. And again, left. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. Forward with the left foot. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. Okay, now, just to mention a couple of mistakes, what I usually see uh, when dancers are dancing that, Make sure that you don't just collect the foot and you, and you just wait there, okay? So it's not really just a camping, but make sure that you really shift the weight from foot to foot. So if I show it sideways, it would be side, replace. Yeah, so I'm a little bit exaggerating right now the stomp, okay? Like when I do this, of course, I don't want you to do with such, you know, like lifting and stomping. I'm just showing that we need to really emphasize the weight shifting okay the replacement action so we switch the weight from foot to foot forward it's going to be the same thing so we go one and two three and four five and six seven and eight now what i haven't mentioned yet uh even though you go sideways or you go forward backward make sure that you always push from the ball of the foot Okay, so before you move any direction, you need to break, uh, lighten up the, take the heel off the floor and go over the ball of the foot. So let's say, if I'm starting with my left foot forward, before I go, I go up, all right? So you feel a little support from the ankle and pointing my foot forward. This is very important. So you see, both of my heels are off the floor. So I go up here and I go forward and land on the heel. Yeah, so I go toe and after that I lower my heel, okay? So one more time, we go with the left foot forward and one, replace. Backwards is the same thing, so make sure, I see you, make sure that you don't go from the heel. It's like a big no, okay? So the same thing backwards, first you go up on the ball of the foot and you push up from the ball of the foot, yeah? So you go back, Replace and again left foot forward one and two and three 
and 4 and 5 and 6 and 7 and 8 okay now as I mentioned I will come back to the basic movement of the bounce what we just started the lesson with so as you remember I talked about 1 and 2 and right now the more figures you're gonna learn let's say now or in the future in samba the more important is to really straighten the knee on the end okay so whenever you do a figure one you go down and the knee has to be already recovered yeah so let's say when I do sideways just like we learned today we go one and immediately straighten the knee so make sure that you don't stay down that's gonna look heavy yeah we don't want to look heavy so the same thing when we go forward we go one right so I soften the knee but then I recover okay just like we did the bounce one and two and so that's the same thing when we do the figures so one and two and three and four five and six seven and eight one and two and three and four and five and six and pushing off from the ball of the foot three and four okay now let me show you one more time we're gonna go sideways forward and then we move to the next figure are you still with me good so let's start with the left foot we go one and two three and four five and six seven and eight forward one and two three and four five and six seven and left one and two three and four five and six seven and eight okay now just a little information we can dance these figures like 360 so let's say if you start to do it this way we can slightly turn to the left or we can slightly turn to the right yeah like in the same spot yeah so now this was the basic version of this figure it's called the whisk okay so what we do when we do the whisk we're gonna do like a fifth position okay like, uh, from the American style so when we do the side and we do step replace instead of replacing and closing the feet we're gonna do a back action yes yeah? so we place the foot backwards okay so we do end up in a kind of like in the lock position fifth position okay so how it's gonna look it's gonna look like this we start to the left with the left foot we go side and now we go back but just on the ball of the foot replace and now to the right side replace okay so we go side replace side replace so we go left right left right left right left right left right left right so you see that was very important when we learned at the beginning that we shift the weight all the time because now we need it yeah when we go backwards it's not enough just to send the leg there and not switch the weight so that's why it's very important that you shift the weight we do like a I don't want to say that we do a rock step because it's not rocking but it's a weight shifting yeah so we replace the weight yeah I'm showing it from side so we go side replace side replace side replace side replace okay now I'm not going to go super deep into the movements like how to work with the body and the hips but uh, maybe next time we'll see so let's uh, put everything together what we learned so far okay so now we're not gonna do just a weight replacement without a back, back step but we're also gonna do forward and backwards side side and also the new one the whisk when we send the foot backwards okay so let's try together so let's start with the left foot again so we go one and now just the collecting and two three and four five and six seven and four one and two three and four 
5 and 6, 7 and 8. And now we did the whisk. So we go again sideways, but now we're going to do the fifth position. And 2, 3 and 4, 5 and 6, 7 and 8. Okay? Now, just a couple of things for whoever wants to challenge uh, themselves or for more advanced students. As you know, we use the hip action, what we call the Cuban motion in any Latin dance, okay? Except pasta doble or jack. So, when we move the hip, just like in cha-cha or rumba, it's very important that you do the same thing in samba as well, okay? So basically we do number eight with our hip. The same thing will happen in samba in every figure almost, okay? So how it's gonna look? We go. One and two and one and two, one and two and one and two. All right. So now, as I said, for more advanced students, we need to rotate the hip when we do all those moves. Okay. So let's say when we go the whisk, we go one, and now we have to again recover. We collect the foot and we go and two, and one, and we keep rotating the hip and then we go backwards, okay? So make sure that you don't just do steps, but you also rotate the hip to the Cuban motion. Okay, that's for more advanced students, just a little homework, okay? Now, let's review one more time everything from the beginning and make sure that you keep replacing the weight from foot to foot, yeah? I keep repeating that, I know, but uh, the more you're gonna learn in Samba, the more you're gonna be aware of that, that it's very important for the rest of the figures, okay, in a syllabus. So let's do one more time. We start again with the left foot and we're gonna go a little bit faster. So one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight, four, one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. Whisk, one, and two, three and uh, four, five and uh, six, seven and eight. And now we can start from beginning again, even though we did just a side step, but we can still come back to the side, replace, side, replace, okay? Now, uh, a little bit back to the side action and the waist action, hope you're still with me here. Okay, good. So, when we do side step, Make sure that you go through a little bump, okay? Again, a very common mistake not to do from the bottom, but to go more from the top. So when we go up, before we even move sideways, we prepare the leg. So you see, I go up, I prepare the leg, and then I push myself over to the another foot. Replace, and the same thing. Up, and then I go sideways. Replace, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, seven, and eight. All right, so now focus on the footwork. So before I go, I point out, yeah? So this will be a very important movement. Yes, yeah? so it's and, side, replace, and, side, replace, and, side, replace. It's a good workout for the ankle. Replace, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Now if you turn sideways to the camera, we can do the same thing forward. So now we go, and, yeah, and. So this pointing, and now we go forward, replace, and one, and two, 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 okay? If you feel your ankle or the joints, that's good, okay? That means that you worked hard enough where you kind of like pumped it up, okay? So, uh, one more thing uh, before we finish. Uh, what is very important that when you go sideways, and not to land too harsh 
that's another one of the mistakes, okay? So what, what I mean is when you go sideways, do not to land, bam. You see, we don't want to do this. That's too rough, okay? So how we do that, I'm gonna stand sideways. When you do a side step, yeah, we talked about now that the, we point, right? The heel is off the floor, and before we land, make sure that what we talked about, that we do that little bounce action, we go with the belly, with the, with the yeah, with, with the belly forward, so we create a little contraction, and then we lower. So this way, the landing will be a little bit more soft because we go forward instead of bam, okay? So one more time. One. Okay, let's try one more time. And forward. And again. And forward. And again. And forward. And again. Forward. Okay? If you don't hear your heel clicking, or if you, let's say, have a carpet at home, then you're lucky. That means that's good. Okay? But make sure that when you practice, you don't want to practice a bad habit by clicking too much and landing too harsh, okay? So let's wrap up the whole thing. Let's give ourselves a little workout without stopping. And unfortunately, we cannot uh, try with the music because last time when I tried with the music, it got muted because of probably the copyrights. So no music, but I'm gonna count out loud, all right? So let's go. And left foot sideways. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, forward, eight. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, sideways, with One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, seven, and eight. And again, basic. One, and two, and three, and four, etc. All right? Now, uh, one who knows me, I always say one more time, which is always a lie, okay? So whenever you hear from me one more time, never true. So, as I said, one more time, we're gonna do one more time with the rod or the stick. Now, why is it very important? Because we wanna make sure that when we dance, we don't end up twisting our upper body or doing too much of swaying in the body. Okay, so when you hold a stick, a broom, a rod, whatever it is, make sure that you keep it parallel with the floor and in front of you. Because if you keep it in front of you, that when you place, put it down, put it away, your arms will stay the same way in front of you. That's what we want, that's what I'm aiming for. Okay, so let's, let's try with the rod. The same thing again. And left foot, one and two. Three and four, five and six, seven and four, one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and whisk, one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. All right, so now when we have this one, make sure that you spin the rod twice. Okay, yeah. did you do it? Good, that was pointless, that was just for fun. So, now you can put it away. And uh, so basically what we covered today, we covered the samba, the basic steps, the basic body movements, the whisk, um, and all the beginning and the basic figures, what you need to learn when you start to learn samba. I would say this way, okay? So if you have any questions, feel free to comment or reach out to me for more information or questions, or you can, you can um, uh, send it also to the studio. So next time when I come um, and I'll be teaching Samba, I can maybe answer those questions, you know? So definitely next time when I see you guys, uh, I'll teach also Samba. Yeah, we're gonna get maybe more into details and I'm gonna show you more figures, okay? So that was it for today, hope you liked it. Thank you for joining me and hope you have a great rest of the evening, okay? Take care and see you soon. Bye-bye.